A very intense night, uh, Adrian. I mean, right now, the, the, the place is almost completely cleared. I, I want to almost show you this empty street that just half an hour ago, an hour ago, was full of police and emergency vehicles, uh, demonstrators who had been uh, put into this barricaded area where Sean and I are standing. Uh, they've also cleared the space. Uh, what we've been seeing uh, over the last hour are NYPD buses drive by, uh, some of them carrying those demonstrators, presumably arrested demonstrators, uh, because we're, what we're hearing right now is uh, reports that Hamilton Hall, this building right here, which is an academic building on campus that was taken over by pro-Palestinian protesters last night, that's been completely cleared out. Remember that that massive uh, NYPD emergency unit vehicle uh, that that is that looked like a, a military vehicle was up against that building that has also cleared out. Uh, we're also hearing reports that the encampment inside campus that's been there for almost two weeks now that's been cleared out by police and we have been standing here for the last two hours uh, just across the street from the columbia university gates but this is just one of the entrances into the university this is a massive campus uh, that takes up uh, you know, many, many blocks. And there are many entrances here uh, where there were police officers uh, blocking those areas, including uh, the other big gate um, over on Broadway, which is right across if you, you know, go into the campus and, and, and cross it. Uh, that's another main gate. And what we've just been seeing here um, is, is some of the activity that we know happened all around this massive campus. Uh, we, we don't have definitive numbers on arrests. We witnessed some of them, uh, but we'll have to wait to hear officially from NYPD about exactly what trans transpired tonight. And we'll wait to hear from uh, Columbia, Columbia University officials about what the next steps are. Well, so, so that's, a, that's a really good point. We, there are so many questions to come out of here. We don't know what happened inside Hamilton Hall. There will be accounts that will emerge uh, in the next few days. And we saw the police uh, talking about not having to use tear gas. They, they used some flashbangs. But we still don't know what happened inside Hamilton Hall. We know mm -hmm. that uh, Columbia University has asked for an NYPD presence uh, up until May 17th, I think, because uh, commencement mm -hmm. is coming. You've got 15,000 students who are yeah. about to graduate. In terms of the arrests, Chris, is there anything you can tell us about what, ex what the expectation is that people will be charged with? Is it, is it anything other than, than, than trespassing? I mean, that, that's one of the charges mentioned by the NYPD at their briefing um, at about... I think it was at six o'clock this evening before they moved in. Uh, they've moved into this area. So burglary was another charge uh, uh, that they they mentioned. But what they did say is that there was going to be definitely uh, charges, particularly uh, regarding the protesters that took over uh, Hamilton Hall, because again, they have surveillance footage. Uh, they have photos of what happened inside there overnight. Well, they, they showed uh, the press pictures of broken windows. They showed uh, photos of, of furniture essentially uh, blocking the entrances and, and, and exits of that building. And so they, they said that there will be charges. And, and we also know from university officials that those students who refused to leave the encampment, that they were being handed out, uh, they were handing out uh, sus suspensions for those students and then expulsions for students uh, who who went inside Hamilton Hall. But uh, again, I, I think there's going to be a lot of processing happening tonight. It, it's, it's very difficult to represent this in, entire story given how many sides there are. I mean, Adrian, depending on on you, who you ask, mm -hmm. you will get a different description of what happened here tonight, who the demonstrators are, who's at fault. Uh, all of that uh, we'll, we'll have to allow it to, to, to develop um, overnight Absolutely. as we hear more again from those uh, different parties tomorrow. Absolutely. Well, Chris, thanks to you and Sean for your measured reporting this evening. Uh, lots of questions to come uh, in the days to come, and this may have ended this evening. This does not end, though. 
uh, the anger that, that initiated this uh, has not gone away. So Chris Reyes, thank you. Thank you very much for this evening.